In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a time lapse video in Photoshop. Well, first of all, I went out and I shot uh, about 710 photos of uh, this darkroom timer. And as you can see, I took a photo about every five seconds. And this goes on for 710 photos. Uh, now I want to make a couple uh, corrections to it, such as a uh, white balance correction and uh, cropping it a little bit tighter. So I'm going to actually select all of these. Then I'm going to right click and go to open in camera raw. All right. Now that I'm in camera raw, I'm going to click select all because I want to make the same adjustment to all of them and then I'm going to make a quick white balance adjustment so I'm just like the white balance tool and then I've got a white part in my uh, darkroom timer so I'm going to click there and that'll help co correct uh, my white balance uh, next I want to crop it because I don't need this extraneous part on either side so I'm going to select that let me rotate a little bit. All right, and you can see that this is happening to all the other images. Then I'm going to make a quick exposure adjustment and bring the blacks in a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to click done. Now I made just a couple of adjustments in Camera Raw, but you can make as many adjustments as you need. Uh, you can crop specific sections uh, for your video and pretty much do whatever you need to do. Alright, now you can see that my Camera Raw adjustments have taken effect uh, to all my JPEG images in Bridge. Uh, however, uh, I want to make sure to uh, export uh, these JPEGs uh, so that the Camera Raw adjustments uh, aren't in the XMP sidecar file uh, like they are right now as you can see by uh, these little symbols here uh, that means that the adjustments are in that sidecar file and not applied directly to the JPEG uh, we need those adjustments to be applied directly to the JPEG uh, so I'm gonna run uh, the image processor uh, to apply those adjustments to the JPEG and do a little resizing for me so I'm gonna go to tools image processor and this is going to open up Photoshop now that I have the image processor open I'm going to save everything as a JPEG in the same location and apply it to all 710 files and so I'm going to make sure save as JPEG is checked uh, convert profile to sRGB I'm going to have checked because I'm going to want to display this video on the web uh, quality I'm going to leave it 12 uh, you can move it down to 10 save a little bit of space so I'm going to click run and then that's going to run the image processor on all 710 files. Now that I have all my images processed, I'm going to go to the JPEG folder that the image processor created and that's going to be within the folder uh, that your original images were. So I'm going to click there and you can see that I've got my 710 images these are all with the camera adjustments that I made and they are all JPEG so we don't have that XMP sidecar file anymore uh, and these are all things that Photoshop will be able to easily read so now I'm going to go into Photoshop and then I'm going to go up to file and then open you can also hit Control O or open Apple O on the Mac. Then I'm going to find my folder. Go into that JPEG folder, the one with all the adjustments, and I'm going to select just the first image. Now all my images are in a numbered sequence. So the first one is 3212, the next one is 3213, uh, etc. through all the images. Uh, make sure that all your images are in a numbered sequence. 
Uh, this will just make it a much easier job for Photoshop and uh, you'll run into less problems. So I'm going to go down to Image Sequence and check that box. And then I'm going to click Open. Alright, now it's going to ask me for a frame rate. Uh, I've got it at 13 right now. Uh, that's just kind of a frame rate that I've found that works uh, for a lot of time lapses that I've done. But I encourage you to play around. Uh, you may have a certain requirement for the frame rate uh, that you need for your video. Start with 13 if this is your first time lapse. But please adjust that frame rate uh, to suit your needs. So I'm going to click OK. And then that's going to bring up the image sequence in Photoshop. Then I'm going to go to File, Export, Render Video. All right, the Render Video dialog box opens, and I'm going to name this timer because I did a time lapse of a darkroom timer, and I'm just going to have it go straight to my desktop. Uh, then I'm going to go for a quick time uh, export and you can adjust your settings in here on however you need to and click OK and then I'm going to click render now depending on how many images you have uh, and the size of your images uh, this may take time, uh, so just kind of let it go. Uh, I would advise not doing other things on your computer while it's exporting the video because uh, it can use up a lot of your computer's resources. And I found uh, I've had much better luck to just let it go and let it do its thing. Now that my video is done rendering, I'm going to go to my desktop, open up the video. and then I'm going to test it, see if it worked. I'm going to hit play. And you can see I have a successful time lapse of the darkroom timer. 